Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent bringing you episode 19 of Wizardry Renaissance. Wizardry Labyrinth of Lost Souls. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I had a thought off screen. Whoops. Let's get this mouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Out of here. <clears throat> and that was to do something. Uh, with the items and in order to get maximum bang for our buck essentially we're gonna unequip this and we're gonna give this to oh snap a samurai can't use it never mind we're not gonna unequip that but I did have an iron shield plus one I think I put it in the item box or I might have just sold it um Yeah. Let's go ahead and see if I can buy that back. Um, or some sort of... Wow, we've got 142,000 gold. That's 580,000. I'm almost there, actually. Not almost. It's going to take quite a while. But, um... Shields. Let's see what shields they have. Moonbuckler. Let's go ahead and get... Oh, the Iron Shield has SP defense. So, Maxim. With his Iron Shield, we'll get the SP defense. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip it. That's fine. So, I don't have the plus one. I don't know what happened to that, but it's not a big deal. Um, so Maximus is set. I guess I'm set with the katana. I could go great sword here and lose the moon buckler. Five defense, four dodge. So let's head to the item shop and let's take a look at that type of arrangement. What about the Claymore plus one? Claymore is also two-handed and raises intelligence, whereas the Great Sword raises vitality and lowers agility. Let's go ahead with the Claymore one and try this idea out. Um, so let's see what her status is now. I'm going to write it down. I'm kind of really lounged in my chair. Um, so... Right now, damage is 20, 27 to 99. Accuracy 21, defense 45, dodge 19. All right, so let's try different combinations. Let's try giving her the Claymore plus one. And now let's see the status. So her intelligence goes up. I didn't catch how much it went up, so let's... Does the katana raise intelligence? No. So let's unequip this and check the intelligence stat. 20. Okay, so it gives one point of intelligence. Um, and let's check the other stats here. So damage 28 to 111. That's more than 27 to 99. Accuracy goes down to 20. Defense goes to 40 from 45. And dodge goes to 17 from 19. There may be a way to rectify this. If I say... Grab the shoes plus 5. From Holly... Sammy wearing surprisingly not a lot
I wonder if I can get him like a dagger or something. Um, the defense or the offense goes up significantly, and that's also times three. Whereas oh, the katana's times three too, and this is also a medium range. It makes her the most unarmored, least dodge person in the front row. But it does give her quite a significant attack. You know, we're going to try that. And I'll keep the katana and moonbuckler on me. Um, what about gloves? What if I give her the gauntlet? No, that lowers her accuracy even more. She's plus four. Well, she's the least worrisome if she dies, because she always comes back, so... Being the main character. So we'll give her that for now. Um, what other items do we have? We need a Grim Circlet. Oh, I want to get... Something from the item shop. I guess they no longer have... Like my dagger plus one and stuff, yeah. Thief can use a short sword. Can he backstab with the short sword? I imagine so. Eleven to fifteen times two, sixteen thirty-two times. Yeah, he should be able to still backstab with that. So what I'm going to do for him... Is I think I'm going to go a little more offense for defense with him. I think I'm going to equip that in the main. With the poison needle. In the sub. And he loses the moon buckler. Holly could use the moon buckler. So I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Holly can't equip the moon buckler. That's why she doesn't have one. So let's give that back to Sammy. And we'll just try this. Um. See what's for trade, if anything. I'll circle it for a seeker ring. Quest board is still the same. We're gonna grind today. And I wanna do it on camera. Um. Oh, I better rest. Let's go ahead and top everybody off with healing aura. And then rest everybody at the stables. So we're probably going to get a few levels from this as well as uh, hopefully the Grim Circlet. So we're going to be shooting for that Grim Circlet today. So I'm going to head to the Dungeon of Trials. And uh, get right into it. It's a level 5 quest. So... <laughs> Let's try the second floor. Second floor is probably ripe with goblins. Um, I 
I don't see any area I haven't been. So let's just walk around a bit and get into a battle. <laughs> I wonder if the encounter rate goes down um, the more higher level of an area you're in. like I'm too high of a level for this area so the encounter rate is going to be low seems like that could be a trick right now Wow, no encounters, really? Is that to stop grinding, maybe? Like, to put a limit on grinding? No. I want to check out his backstab, too. This is going to be very easy. Oh, he didn't hide. There we go. Backstab. Let's see if he goes first with the backstab. 96 damage. That's the type of backstab I'm looking for. No need to hide. They're going to be dead in one turn anyway. And 325 is still significant XP. For something that has no chance whatsoever against us. go towards the B3F stairs. And we are going to get some levels here, which, I mean, whatever. That's not why I'm doing it. There's the steps right there. level two orcs just makes you appreciate like how each each level of the dungeon had its challenges I mean at one point orcs were maybe not oh a sling huh. maybe not giving us the most challenge but oh he can't equip it. Mages can't equip slings. Okay. It's a lot of money. Yeah, like maybe the orcs weren't giving us a huge run for our money, but they were in there in the mix with enemies that could do a bit of damage. Wooden chest. Hey, free tools. Can't beat that. Free tonic. Which I'm sure are going to come in handy later. And I, oh, I picked up the sling. Alright. I really want to fight those undead goblins, though. I think we get that... Oh, no, I don't want to travel to B1F. Okay, let's go back over that way. Oh. 
should have backstabbed. Oh yeah, her attacks with the Claymore plus one seem about right thus far, from what we can judge on these weaker enemies. You know, sometimes you gotta go offense for defense and that sort of thing. Go to B3F. This is a bit when the game started throwing a bit of a challenge at us. Shield. Could be a moon buckler. Just a regular buckler. It's 400 gold. the doors here. No trap in here. So B3F should really be around where I'm getting these undead circlets. In, out. In, out. In, up, up, down, up, down. I'm getting some lucky. Well, unlucky in our case, rolls here for encounters. Monsters want to fight us. Couple skellies. into it. Let's go ahead and light a cigarette. Enjoy the grind. Wooden chest. Fallen Angel's Mirth. What in the world? Oh no, you set up a stone toss trap. Oh. Okay. Undead kobolds, and they're level 11. I don't know if we're over the heads of the undead goblins yet, but I remember the other night when we did the grinding for Circlets episode that maximum gain of a level, lost piety, received agility, lost luck, HP raised by 12. But I remember in that episode, they were on this level, I think. There they are. Let's make sure none of them flee by giving them a flame field and a flame field. Ooh, armor, armor. That's probably not it. Is it armor? Robe robe. 
Got me excited for nothing. <laughs> I saw a drop. Hey, it's a drop. One, two, three, one. Nice. Level 10 undead goblins. They should have it. Let's make sure they die with a flame field. And a flame field. Great. Now his backstabs are doing some damage. Ah, nothing. 645 coal for that, or experience for that, though. I wonder what top level is in this game is. Maybe 99? Weird that at level 15, a mage and stuff has access to the entire spellbook. So I'm wondering where that's going to go. Armor, but uh, that's gonna be a robe. Grim circlet! Yes! We did it! Yeah! That's why I did this on camera, because it's great and exciting when it happens. Who wanted that? The item shop guy. Well done, you've done me a great service. Now I can resume my research of the undead. I will put in a good word at the guild for you. This isn't much, but please accept it for your troubles. 10,000 gold. Nice. Reagent gathering. Looking for adventurers to find medicinal materials. Adventures with extra time to kill preferred? That's us. This job comes from the item merchant. Apparently he's looking for some help finding something. Head over to the job and ask Iron Hand about the Head over to the shop and ask Iron Hand about the job. Good luck. See that unlocks more. No wonder the reagents were dropping and now we need them. Would you like me to retrieve another cult grim circlet for me? You can never have too many of these while researching the magics involved in reanimation of the dead, you know. As you know, the job is simple. All you need to do is enter the Dungeon of Trials and hunt down some undead goblins. If you find and bring me five Grim Circlets, I'll give you 10,000 gold. Good luck. Hmm, region Gavin. Oh, you've come about my most recent posting. Very good. This time, I'm searching for a reagent using a certain medicine. It's not uncommon to find the reagent when encountering Grave Mists. I want you to collect some for me. Grave Mists can often be found in the Dungeon of Trials. Now, it should be noted that not every Grave Mist is going to have that ingredient on them. Good luck. If you find 10 of them for me, I'll purchase them for 20,000 gold. I'll even pay 50,000 gold if you bring me 20. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Okay, so his quests... ...seem to be... ...for money. Um, to make money. Um, deliver him stuff for money. Whereas the other quests seem to ha be more... Iron Hand's quests seem to be a... grind for money. And... The other quests, like Guildmaster Buzz, seem to be more... I don't know, present three dirty daggers, but... Seem to be more story-oriented. I don't know if anything will unlock if I give him... 20 reagents. Um... I don't know. Let's 
circle for a seeker ring, but I did have an extra circle, didn't I? Gauntlet for an iron shield. I could give up that mace plus two for a seeker ring. Does anybody have a seeker ring? Does everyone have one? Everyone's got one. Huh. So I guess I should enter Sheen's dungeon then. Let's uh, head back to the inn. And, uh... Wait a minute, if I do get a Seeker Ring, then I could oh, then I could just trade it for an Iron Helm. Let's head back to Sheen's. Forgot to sell the stuff I picked up. Katana, Moon Buckler, we're still deciding on. Buckler can go, Robe can go. Robe. An extra Moon Buckler. Oh no, we're still deciding on that. An extra Sling. That sling really gives me a lot of different things I can do. I only have three reagents. So I can move Laurel to the back row, create a new character, another samurai or something. My pork loose samurai I want to make. And then Holly can take a seat as the bishop. And we can have a much more potent front line. But maybe that's something to do down the line. All we gained a level, received strength, luck, learned a new spell, HP by 19. Go hit the elevator. <laughs> so you can never be too heavy on that button when there's when you're uh, when you're exploring for the first time because you never know when the next wall could be a trap wall. Uh, B4F? Oh, this isn't unlocked yet. Huh, so we only did floor three in here. Did we unlock this? We didn't unlock it. We didn't finish floor three? Oh, I see two rooms. I see a bunch we didn't go in. Huh. Okay, well, let's head to B2 at least. I know I'll unlock that. And, uh, come down here.
I do not know my way around in here. Alright, let's continue searching B3F. Why did I think I finished this floor? Did I announce that I had finished it? Okay, go in this teleporter? Where does this go? To this room. I see the rooms where I have to go, but how do I get to them? Aha! Clever girl! You guys probably spotted it a million years ago. <laughs> I know I have a clever audience that watches me. Right here. Door, but let's keep searching. Something was in this panel, and it was... Ooh, level 3 fighters. I can... S oh, I have to Suguki Sugeki on the first row. That's a shame. Definitely not taking a level 8 Vorpal Bunny threat. Almost a full row of 5. I think the max is six in a row. It might be five. For granted. And these things as well. The giant mantis. Don't want to play around with them. This should do it. Oh, okay. He hit a bunch of times. We found an iron chest. With a bomb. Got an armor and a dagger. I am excited to see what we've got. Dagger? Ooh, dagger plus two. And a robe minus one. Dagger plus two. Let's go ahead and give that to Sammy. Does more damage. Hmm. So that might have been a pre programmed treasure tile anyway, because uh, when I walked into the tile, it, it went off. Okay, this is an unfortunate level 15. Exercise the skeletons. Game. Oh, I thought that was the the mummies I was attacking. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're only level nine. Still. Should take care of him. Wow, he gets a lot of times with that. And a strange received. What's the strange in here? Reagents. Okay. Let's see if this one is a treasure. No.
One of these will also have a control switch, apparently. The enemy suddenly attacks. Level 3 fighters. Try not to get quartered by the mantises. Oh, beheaded by the mantises. I'm sorry, those aren't giant crabs. Those are mantises. Definitely don't want to play with them. So this one must have a control switch? Uh oh. I see where it's at. Through this door this door. Control switch. Cool. Mm. Level 7 mummies. You know what? Just go ahead and exercise. I mean, they are only level 7. 920 XP for that. Alright, where's the doors down in this joint? Which is which? Okay, bottom right is the doors down, so let's come back this way. Level 9 Vorbal Bunnies, we should take them out in this turn. Tried to cut off a head. Quite dangerous. Then we've got to go through a no spell zone. Wish me luck. Oh, no spell zone. Oh dear, this is very unfortunate. And we got away. That was a very unfortunate encounter. <sighs> B4F. First time here. And it's a natural cavern, it looks like. First steps into B4F. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, a turn. They didn't want me going in here for some reason. Oh. What? Mm, brilliant. <laughs> they didn't want me going in the steps. I just came down. Level 8 Rock. Hello, Rock. You're only level 8, so I'm not terrified. Where's the Wind Elemental? I will hit you with a Dungeon Quake and also test you with a Thunder Arrow. 
86 damage. Okay, Thunder Arrow's a no-go. Oh, he's got some defense. 683. It's not natural, it's just older or something. Some natural limestone cavern, but there's also construction in it as well. And of course it's maze-like and I hear a cat. Not populated by monsters, surprisingly. Oh, I seem to have gone in somewhat of a circle. Wow, fire giants. what looks like frost giants as well. Fire. Sit you with an iceberg rain. And in the back there, sit you with a volcanic field. Defeat one of them. Nice. Huh. I don't know if that's a frost troll or just some sort of different type of troll. I think we should be able to take it. It's been weakened. 876 gold. Okay. Apparently immune to bludgeoning. 2500 XP and a sword. Ice sword. Raises intelligence. It's specifically for a samurai and that is a major... It Inflicts numbing. Good versus human specter and giant. Not great versus legend. Six accuracy. Medium range. Three defense. Three dodge. And it's only a main weapon. It's not even a two-handed weapon. So that is a killer move. So we can officially ditch the katana. Equip the ice sword. Let's compare our stats with the Claymore plus one. We're at 28 to 111. Okay, so this was Katana. Claymore plus one is 28 to 111. 20, 40, 17. And that's damage. Accuracy, defense, dodge. Accuracy, defense, dodge. And now with the ice sword and the moon buckler of course that goes to 42 to 114 which is all around higher than the claymore a whopping 25 accuracy Whopping 47 defense and higher dodge. Much better. 
get to put that moon buckler back on. Cool. But we should probably keep the claymore around for when we fight like ice creatures. We're not going to be wanting to hit them with the ice sword. And we should probably do something about Laurel's bludgeoning attack. Not being much of a threat against giants. Would have been nice to get a treasure chest there. Beautiful cavern so far. Really nice to explore. Okay. I don't want to know what you are. Bludgeoning should work against you. You know what? You look very dark. So let's lighten up your life a bit. You hide. Those ones in the back look like earth elementals. So for earth elementals, it's not a whole lot. Oh, flame field for the back, and ice field for the front. These guys look pretty intimidating. Wow, white heat didn't do much of anything. Neither did Icefield. Defeated one, though. Berserker's watching intently. Okay. What's Sugeki? Bishop. Fight them. Fight. Backstab the bishop. Throw a flame field on the berserkers and we're on a single ally. Let's cold snap the berserkers. Hmm. 2,500 and 500 gold. Lucius gained the level, received strength, vitality, learned a spell, HP raised by 23. So this may be one of the most maze-like places. Well, not so bad so far. I don't expect it to get any easier. nice iron chest with magic drain Laurel got two or three tools two tools two magic torches Put it right smack dab in the middle of the room. You know, I just don't feel comfortable not having that 10 HP, because how many times have we been taken to 10 HP by a single shot? It has happened, and I have learned from it. Alright, Berserkers, these guys probably hit pretty hard. should work and throw a flame field on them. Ooh. 
Wow. 1200. A weird thing. A rare drop. And a staff. Staff minus one. And an alias's helm. Raises strength and vitality, special defense. Minus two accuracy before dodge, five defense. Good against spirits, which is good. Human, specter, animal. Uh, raises strength and vitality. I mean, serves using the hat plus five. So let's go ahead and unequip that. And this has special defense as well, so let's equip that. Now we've got a spare hat plus five. I feel more comfortable wearing a circlet. Not sure about a feather cap. It does raise luck. So we should probably just... Norrell's wearing a hat plus seven. Circlet and alias is home. So the hat plus five can be given to charity. Flip the switch already. The resistance of blunt. Holly with the kill. And a ring received. Which, if I'm guessing, could be like a fairy ring or something. Holly became frustrated. Up, oh, don't go down the middle again. I'm a learning animal sometimes. So far, I appreciate this dungeon. The enemies aren't as gimmicky. Like, I don't think a berserker can lop your head off. He can just hit you for a good amount of damage. Alright, that was a warp. That was a... Screen change. Wow, okay, poison giant, air giant, you, you're a poison giant, okay. I think I can hit you with my ice sword. Can hit you with my uh, dragon slayer. Dark elemental opponents. Let's use that on you. You hide, you... Lightning arrow it. What are our new spells? Thunderfield creates an extremely pressurized weather front to sweep in, followed by a powerful localized thunderstorm. The intense heat and electricity damages a group of enemies particularly effective against water elemental. Now Burst creates a sudden and violent backdraft, propelling a wind of intense heat and flame to engulf all foes in the area. And Wish creates a chaotic ripple in the fabric of reality, causing varied effects. Requires an enormous amount of focus on behalf of the caster. Um, I think I was going to lightning arrow you. And then you were going to flame arrow. One point of damage only. Oh, lightning arrow. Did good. Oh.
Cyclops, and he can hit the back row, so he is no joke at all. Oh, he hit my back row. Who hit my back row? Let's steal his life. Backstab him. Under arrow. Cold snap. Oh no, what's good against the air effect uh, enemy? Golem's rage against the air giant. Here we go. Doing major damage now. Air Giant. Still hiding. Flame Arrow. Cool. Almost 3,000 XP, 600 gold. Laurel gained a level, received intelligence, vitality, lost agility, learned a spell, HP raised by 27. We have an iron chest with stone toss. There was nothing inside. Hmm. So a variety of giants lives here, and giant-like people. And of course, bishops to tend to them or work together with them. Level 6 air giant. Your mace is not cutting in here, so go ahead and... Mirror shield. Summons a divine disembodied shield that attracts and safely deflects harmful magic from a single ally. Healing light. Grants the favor of the gods. We know that. Purifying aura. Restore body. Infuses divine energy with the soul of a fallen ally and attempts to rejoin the immortal and mortal forms. Restoring even a body reduced to ash back to its complete undamaged state smite unleashes a blast of pure smiting holy energy that has capability to disintegrate a group of enemies with a single wave leaving not a single cell in its wake give it a touch of death see what happens can't hurt dungeon quake Back. Simple enough. So don't let the big size fool you. Or the ugliness. Now we're starting to use all our spells. And I'm sure we will more in the future as well. Because they were quick to give us these spells, so... It's sort of like, you know... They were quick to say, okay, here's what your tools you're working with. Feel no malice from these creatures. Leave. Crusaders and Dark Crusaders. I felt malice, alright. Um... Because the game was like, okay, we'll give you all your spells early. And reasons to use them as well. And that's what it's been doing. I've probably been playing for over an hour. I should go ahead and save. Uh, hit it with a light arrow. 
hit it with a grapple hail. And you just fight. Mm, that worked. Wow. So we're just trying to gauge the enemy without um, effectively blowing everything we have. Okay, and after this battle, I'm going to go ahead and save. Ice probably doesn't hurt them too much. No. Hmm. Berserker brandished something. I didn't quite get what it was. save here and say thank you for joining me we grinded for the grim circlet successfully and we moved on in sheen's dungeon and are exploring it and uh looking for an ancient statue or something so we'll see if that'll turn up thank you for joining me guys once again uh much love peace and joy hope you're enjoying i will see you next time you will.